Hi friends, uh, today I just uh, take the topic storage and its encryption. It's a part of AZ104, uh, uh, but uh, this topic is not going to be very brief. Uh, we will discuss uh, the small part of uh, encryption. Okay, so we will go for our uh, slides. What is storage service encryption? Okay, so protect your data for security and compliance. So and automatically encrypt and decrypt your data means. Uh, when your data is encrypted automatically before it persists to your Azure Managed Disk, Azure Blob Storage or Azure Q Storage or Azure Cosmo DB or Azure Table Storage or Azure Files, okay? And encryption through 256-bit A is encryption. Uh, all the data written to the Azure Storage is encrypted uh, through 256-bit Advanced Encryption Standard. And uh, it's one of the strongest block cipher available, okay? And it enabled for all new and existing storage account and cannot be disabled. So Azure Storage Encryption is enabled for all new and existing storage account. Uh, but you cannot be disabled because it's automatically processed. And all uh, your data is automatically encrypted. And also when you when you give the access, it's automatically de decrypted. Okay. You can use encryption day Microsoft management key. Also, you can use the customer management key. Okay. Uh, so we will go for the next slide uh, create the customer management key so I will show in the Azure portal how to we can make the custom manage key okay use the Azure key vault to manage your encryption key Azure uh, we will create Azure key vault and then, then we will create the uh, management key then you can encryption key okay create your own encryption key and store them in the key vault okay so same thing is User Azure Key Vault API to generate the encryption key and custom key give you more flexibility and control. So it's give you it to provide more security level uh, when you create your uh, own uh, Azure key Azure key okay security key okay. So I just uh, go for the Azure portal then you can easily understand very easily because I give the brief for there okay. Uh, now we will reach our Azure portal and we will check the encryption method as per the Microsoft Azure portal okay. So we will just uh, go for firstly our uh, storage account. I already told my previous description how to you make resource group and how to make the storage account. I have not described here how to make the storage account okay. So first we directly go for the uh, storage account here already I have the storage account I just click here so after that uh, you can check this blade uh, in the security and the networking you can go for the your encryption okay just to click the encryption so here they will already explain my storage service encryption protect your data at rest Azure storage encryption uh, your data is in it's written in our data center and automatically decrypt it your uh, as you use it okay so what the storage whatever the uh, data in your Azure storage uh, they are already encrypted and when you need to access is automatically decrypted so data rest also use encryption okay as per Microsoft default okay so here you can go for uh, encryption selection you can select blob and files only and infrastructure encryption means another layer of the encryption the complete uh, your infrastructure will be encrypted but it's it's uh, depends on the your uh, subscription you go for check your the price tag okay so and also the little bit slow of your network and encryption type Microsoft management key and custom manage two type of key available as per micro management key, key means Microsoft manage itself okay so custom manage means you can manage yourself okay just we will go for the custom management we will check what is available when the customer manager key are enabled the storage account named you see grant access to the selected key vault both the soft delete and purest protection also enabled or the key vault and cannot be disabled okay so you uh, you cannot uh, encryption cannot uh, cannot disable okay once you created it is automatically enabled the your encryption you cannot be disabled okay so here you can encryption key here select key vault so I, I will show you how to we can make the key vault okay uh, so enter the key URL enter the key URL means if you are on premises you will manage your uh, encryption method like uh, HSA HSM devices then you can give the URL for uh, uh, in the Azure portal then you can uh, 
uh, use the hybrid cloud management for you manage your uh, encryption key okay in your on premises device okay so you can give the user assign and system based assign okay as per the your like okay so what we will go uh, we will check the this uh, encryption and if you need to select your key vault you need to make the key vault i will show you how to make the key vault okay so then we will go for encryption scope so encryption scope means you can encrypt give the key for a particular uh, uh, your block container or block storage okay so i will show you how to we can do this one just to click add button okay then here encryption scope name i will put uh, stdf okay just as example and here you can see uh, encryption type the same like microsoft manager key or custom custom manager you need to key vault and you need to develop your key okay so here you can select your key vault like this one and you can put your key here okay then uh, infrastructure encryption is disabled or enabled so once you will create it i just go for microsoft manage key then we will enable infrastructure you, this option cannot be changed after the encryption scope is created so we will not go for the uh, infrastructure encryption we just make create once you created the encryption scope you cannot delete only disable option is available okay just you just created See now uh, the STD Microsoft uh, encryption scope will be created. Okay, the key automatically managed from the Microsoft side, so you do not see this key. Okay, so you don't have the option for the delete. You once you will only disable. Okay, so I will show you how to we can give this uh, key in the your uh, container. Okay, just to go for your container. Yeah, just to go for your container click ok then just we will make one con new container ok apple in private and here you can click the advanced here they will ask you for encryption scope use encryption scope from the blob in the container and enable you are already create the scope then the std then you need to create it ok just after that it will be automatically created so now you understand how to you can put the encryption scope okay okay now we will go for the sure key vault uh, just to go for microsoft and here you can key vault or you just type here key vault see the key vault is automatically coming okay so just to go for your key vault then you need to create the key vault okay just to click yeah here you can select your resource group uh, demo rj and uh, enter the key vault name like mm it's okay uh, standard is to use and here pricing stack uh, like a premium and standard if you go for premium hsm back cad keys what is hsm i will show you what is hsm okay so hsm device uh, one particular one uh, device same like this hsm device uh, see this is hsm device so the image okay this hsm device in the data center they will back up your uh, save the your uh, uh, key in this device okay so that is hsm hsm will be keep your uh, data the, the key will be uh, in your uh, device okay so that hsm hardware security module you can give more description you just go for uh, uh, microsoft uh, description you can read more things okay so this one only for saving your uh, one backup your uh, key to the hsn device is stored in the azure data storage okay so see here premium group support hsn backend key okay so now we will go for standard and then here soft delete means once you delete how many days you can retain your uh, key if you, you are unexpectedly delete we, we will put retain the data vault, vault in 90 days okay you can change whatever you then go for next yeah assure all based access control like uh, vault access policy so permission mode grant data plan access you can go for assure uh, add back or key vault access policy uh, just we will go for now uh, vault access policy yeah uh, just to read uh, and uh, resource assure virtual machine deployment assure resource manage assure disk encryption mode so resource access just select all okay you can also assign with your r back assure role based policy okay okay then review and create just uh, click create 
now we will wait for the deployment of our Azure Key Vault, okay? See now our uh, Key Vault uh, deployment is success. We will go for our go to the resource, then we will make the key, okay? We will check out key. So just to go for the key, click the key. Then here you can see generate and import. Just plus uh, generate and import. And here you can select your key. We can generate or import. Import from you can uh, resource from the backup or like this one. Import you can make your own key to import. Okay. So just uh, generate and I will put switch on skill key. Okay. Then uh, we will select the key type. Uh, RSA is uh, strong encryption. We will set and this is 048 bit. Okay. Key size. Then you can set to the set actual date and send XP if you like. You can set this one. See whatever the date you need and whatever the date will be. After that, the key need to rotate and generate the new key. Okay, here you can set the uh, key rotation policy because you set the expiration and you also you can set the key rotation after the expiration will be automatically key will be rotated. And here you also you need to put the key rotation uh, policy also. So I just do not go for now this brief. I try to create. Yeah, uh, creating the key resource skill is complete. Okay, this is uh, your key. We are not put the expiration date. We will just uh, go for our uh, key now. Yeah, this is the our uh, key value version. Okay, and enable. Okay, so what we will do? We will assign this key for our uh, storage encryption okay so now we will go for our storage encryption microsoft and your storage here so here you just go for your container so we will make one new container uh, with uh, no just we will uh, go for our encryption first <laughs> encryption So here you can see customer management key, okay? Then go for select key wall. You can select your key wall, select your key wall. Just click this select your key wall, MS and, because here you can see managed EHSM and uh, key wall. So we will go, uh, go for our key wall. MM Rejo is there and key automatically we can fetch. See this is, then you need to select now you see uh, your key already there and you select already custom management key then you can save this one okay so just click save button see now i show you how to we can do for uh, encryption with your custom key uh, through key vault okay so just uh, wait for the completion for this uh, azure account yeah updating is will be updated i will come back okay See now our uh, key uh, successfully updated in you, you can see this one. Uh, the encryption currently key is using Rejo skill and automatic key rotation enabled using the latest key version and key issue for this one and key assign. So now the encryption we will assign for the key from the Azure key vault. Okay. So manage from our side custom management key. Also you can check here also you can also add your key in the uh, this stuff also in the just to go for here. Then you can change uh, your key here also. Custom management key and select your key wall. Here you can select them and you here. Here you can select your uh, resource key and just to save it. It's also in it. So I think uh, this is a step for how to we can manage the custom level our uh, key wall. Okay. In, uh, using the encryption. So I think now you understand the, how to you can do the key encryption. Uh, using the key vault, okay. How to we can add that in the uh, SD storage account for your game. So, I just plan to wind up this topic. Uh, I think everyone understand how to you can make the key and how to you can add the key through the Azure key vault. So, I just uh, wind up and uh, thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and uh, support me. Thank you so much.